Hey everybody, welcome to another edition of Sisters of Battle or Adepta Sororitas 6th Edition Codex, a woefully underlooked army of 40k. And I'm here to prove that they are competitive. This time we're focusing on Dominions. The Dominion Squad, my second favorite squad in the game, first one being Seraphim. Watch the Seraphim video. You'll need to see that if you're going to fully understand what I'm saying here. As I've said in my tactical overview video, the sisters are a static defense army. Okay? That means you should always be taking them with fortifications, preferably a fortress of redemption. Now, Dominion and Seraphim are the squads that you send out to your opponent's table side. These are the ones that you will use to make your opponent focus on taking them out, holding their objectives, holding their table corners, instead of breaking down your fortress walls. That's their purpose. So, Dominions. Their special ability is that they can be upgraded with four to five special weapons. In my overview, I've told people, always take the Holy Trinity. The Holy Trinity being Flamer, Melta, Bolter. Every sister's unit can have Flamer, Melta, Bolter in it, and everyone should. Typically, in this case, you should have two Melta Guns and two Flamers. And your veteran Dominion Superior can then also have the weapon of her choice. Another Flamer, another Melta, or maybe you like Plasma. That's how you use them. These are your harassers. These are the people you send past the wall to force the enemy to deal with them. Keep them in a Rhino. Some people take an emulator. I prefer Rhino because I like full squads. The Rhino is just one extra layer of protection for your sisters. Force them to pop your Rhino before they attack them. Why? It's just one more thing they have to do before they start killing you directly. I mean, even if they pop the Rhino, let's say it explodes and everybody takes a hit, okay. You've got three plus armor save. It's a very good chance most of your sisters are going to be getting out okay. So let them pop the rhino instead of having you being shot at directly. In addition, the rhino has obviously its fire port. Let them fire their meltas and flamers out of that, I believe, plus the pintle mounted weapons on the rhino itself. And don't forget, the rhino itself also gets shield of faith. What does that mean? It means the Rhino has a 6-plus invulnerable save. A lot of people forget that. Just let them shoot the people shoot the Rhinos directly. Take that. Just take the save. Let them pop the Rhino. Then let them deal with the Dominions. Because you remember, the Dominions are not going to be sitting around holding a point. The purpose of the Dominions, and this is very important, is to push troop units off of an objective or out of a table corner or just kill them we're not sending them out against uber hand-to-hand -hand combat units or anything like that these the purpose of them is to kill the troop units get rid of the scoring units that's how you win so when you think about it that way the Dominions have more than enough firepower to deal with every other standard troop unit in the game. Just to push them off a spot. Just to pressure them. That's the tactic. Them combined with the Seraphim. Now normally I have two squads of Seraphim and one squad of Dominions. The Seraphim go up first and start engaging the opponent. The, Ser the, the uh, Dominions come up soon behind... And cause their trouble for the opponent. That can give you up to 30. 30 figures. To go out and harass the enemy on the other side of the table. 20 Seraphim. 10 Dominion. And a Rhino. 
and Saint Celestine joining the Seraphim squad, that alone is enough to make people cry. It's at least going to take a lot of their time to deal with it. Now, your other sisters and your other fortifications, the Repentia, the Battle Sisters, the uh, Retributors, they should be happy on back on your side of the table, defending that area, doing nothing. Let them have a picnic. Because the opponent should be focused on getting rid of your Seraphim and your HQ and your Dominions before they can even think about focusing on bringing down that Fortress of Retribution. And in the meantime, the Fortress of Retribution is still shooting off its Icarus cannons, its four heavy bolters, its uh, crack missile silo with its, you know, with the, uh, with the um, Ordnance Blast, plus whatever tanks you bring, like the Exorcist, that's also all going to be supporting them. That should keep people definitely busy for at least half the game trying to deal with them. And if you succeed in killing all the troops, you win. I hope that helps. Oh, and their act of faith is Holy Fusillade. What does that do? That allows them, for one phase, that their weapons um, negate all cover saves. And this goes to what I was saying before. They don't hold points. They take points. They push people off table corners, and off, especially, objectives. That's what they're there to do, not to hold them. Once you're done pushing off that squad or knocking it under half strength or getting them to run, move on. Your Seraphim and your Dominions should be moving as a group together from objective to objective, table corner to table corner, knocking off the troop unit that happened to be there. 30 of them should be more than enough to accomplish this goal with ease. Don't try to hold that. Just move to the next objective. Why? Because you should have holding your objectives and your table corners is should be all you need to win. The rest is focused on giving the opponent a difficult time holding on to their table corner and their objectives. That's how you play a static defense army. Okay, and don't forget the war hymns. Yes, the squad needs a Ministorum Priestess, which is Zealot, which then gives them what? Adamantium will, hatred, preferred enemy, all stacking up with them, in addition to a simulacrus imperialis, which allows them to use their act of faith twice, twice, twice in the game. Combine this with the war hymns and a focus on this tactic and strategy, and you should win easily. I hope you like this. Try it out. See you next time and start winning with sisters. Bye.